Hello, YouTubers. This is another session where my friend Yasser here and I continue our journey into building an end-to-end -end, um, uh, system, a mobile applications that is a virtual bazaar, a little system that we called Vazar, and it allows people to find products and shop around from, from their home, from the comfort of their homes through their mobile app without any issues. We're using the latest and greatest technologies. We're upgraded, you know, the system to .NET 7. We're using new patterns. We're following the engineering standard. And, you know, Yasser, how are you doing today? How is everything with you? Yeah, I'm doing good. And uh, uh, there were a few guys, you know, we, we are waiting for them to connect. Uh, people, so... people keep talking to me about your project. Yeah. like, we want to work yeah, with yeah. Yasser. A lot of people do... keep... You know, let's see. Let's see here. Let's let me look around here under my desk. Uh -huh. Maybe I can find someone. <laughs> Hold on. Who is this? Oh, okay. wait, wait a second. Oh, who is this guy? I just found one. <laughs> okay. Let, How let are me, you guys? Hi, hi, Sean. Let me see if I can find another one. Hold on. Oh, 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 okay. wait, look, what, oh here's another one. <laughs> Hello, guys. <laughs> How are you guys doing? So we have Bilal and we have Sean with us today and you know do you guys want to tell us who you are who are you guys you know i didn't know all of this time yes or we've been pairing all of these time all of these days these guys mm -hmm. been under my desk and they just <laughs> <shut up. laughs> Let, let's let's go with sean sean who are you my name is sean i'm okay. a computer engineer graduated from mumbai university okay all right and i work in dubai as a software engineer okay Making things and uh, making life easier for people. That's One beautiful. line of code at a time. One line of code at a time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a totally original. I never heard that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's, good to, it's good to meet you, Sean. It's a pleasure to meet nice, you. Bro. Nice to see you guys. Pleasure, pleasure to be on this call. What about this heartbreaker here, Bilal? Hey, brother, how yeah. are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing great for you. Thank you for asking. Yeah. Do you want to tell us a little about yourself and how you get yeah, this yeah. awesome hair? Could help a brother out because I'm starting to lose my hair. <laughs> I'm on the list. I'm on the list. Yeah, I'm also, yeah. So Hassan, I am also losing my hair and my beard as well. So. <laughs> Believe it or not, I never touched my beard. It just went to that level and it said I'm not going to grow any further. <laughs> so, uh, maybe mine is like a bit shorter of yours, but it's like I am losing hair in my beard as well. So. So let's gonna need to bring sponsors energy. here for for hair growth. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> so, yeah. so 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 Bilal, tell us a little bit more about yourself, brother. So uh, my name is Bilal Mehrban. Uh, I graduated graduated from University of Azad Jammu and Kashmir from Azafrabad, Pakistan. And right now, I have been working in Islamabad, Pakistan for the past three years. And by profession, I am a software engineer. And nice. most of the time, I have been working in uh, ASP.NET and uh, ASP.NET Desktop. Uh, it's been ordered web apps and then C sharp desktop apps. It's nice to meet you, brother. It's good to see you. Thank you. Good so, to see you, you well. so you guys want to help Yasser build this Vazar app? Is that what it is? You, you're yeah, excited sure. and you want to work with him and, and, and build end to end systems in the open source space? Yeah, that, that, that's, that's what we are here for. Okay, okay. And, and, and I can see Sean is experiencing difficulties it always freezes at the weird face expression that he makes like this is sean <laughs> <laughs> every time uh -oh. <laughs> okay sean all right let's get started so uh yeah so uh so bilal i'm assuming you have access to um uh yasser's repository it's called bazaar.core you know i have I have worked on a repository and I have set it up in my local machine as well. Yeah. See, I love that, man. See, people just ready. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know, I sometimes I tell people, okay, here is how you do it. Here is how you set it up. And then two weeks go by and I'll be like, all right, let's get started. Oh, wait, I didn't install Visual Studio. I'll be like, come on, man, get out of here with your nonsense. <laughs> you know, I'm giving you 48 hours to get ready and that's what you're doing to me now. Is that how you're going to play? Okay. Okay, so Sean looks like Sean is back again. Okay, let's see. Sean. Nope. Sean Sean is not not sure yet. Okay, so Bilal, let's start with you. You're gonna write code okay. from day one. Yay. Okay. 
So I want so 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 Yasser add him as a contributor because we're gonna be working on the same branch. So he needs that kind of access. So you know how he how you guys can add a contributor to a particular repository just simply by going and saying, I want to let's say let me go into the yeah Sean is out. Sean, if you can hear us, we can't see you. We can't hear you. We can't. We don't know who you are, Sean. You're out. Okay, so Vazar, Vazar Core, and then we're gonna go into the settings, and then collaborators. There's a password, and then I'm gonna add Bilal. Bilal, what's your uh, what's your um, username? Uh, it's Bilal Mehman. Bilal Mehman. M E H on Is that you? Yes. Yeah. By the way, I've been meaning to so let's say uh, write, read, write, triage, maintain, uh, recommend for project managers, write, recommend for con con contributors. Yeah, there you are. So Bilal, I have a question for you. You know, you know, you and I have been working on the O Triple S project oh, for a while. Can you can you ex can you explain this to me? I I want to I really want to understand. What so, the heck is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, like, this was a picture that I got at, like uh, when I was in university from internet, and I like I just posted it in on GitHub and my LinkedIn. And it just has, stayed uh, there. And, yeah, it's been there like for I think so five to six years now. This guy looks like he's high on something. This guy. <laughs> This guy is doing fentanyl or something. I'm telling you right now, something's wrong with this kid. All right, cool. So I'm gonna. So I added you, Bilal. You're gonna get a. You're gonna get a an email. Make sure you accept that email. And then while we're at it, let's add Sean as well. Sean, what's your um, what's your GitHub uh, yeah, username, brother? Sean three zero one two eight seven. Three zero one. That that's you. So, so let me ask you about something, you know, this is, this is mainly like all my friends, you know, uh, in India, when they're telling me a phone number, they go like this three, five, five, and then six, seven, eight, five, like, mm -hmm. why do you run at the end? <laughs> There's still an acceleration at the end. <laughs> why this acceleration happens before the end? Five, six, seven? Triple eight nine fix. <laughs> so, so like same of this happens in Pakistan as well, Hassan. So like uh, if you ask someone in Pakistan about uh, their number and they will do the same. Oh my God. Okay. Well, okay then. You know, you guys are going to have to teach me to, um, you're going to have to teach me how to do that. Okay. Um, all right. So, so Sean, Sean's internet is garbage. <laughs> Dubai, my it's... ass. It this a lot is not working over there. It's broken. <laughs> okay, so uh, Bilal, whenever you're ready, just accept the invitation, brother. Oh, there you are, out, outside collaborator. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Sean is in the uh, in the zone. Okay, so let's go back to Visual Studio here real quick. And okay, all I want you to do just uh, pull in instead of the fork that you have, pull straight from from uh, uh, Yasser's uh, uh, account. So delete whatever you have in your fork, like whatever you pull down, and just get get a new one from the origin. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, Yasser. You know Sean's okay. internet is out. Out. Uh, okay. Okay. That's okay. Maybe maybe mm -hmm. he'll restart the router. Mm -hmm. All right. So and we will continue doing the provisioning. Right. Today we just want to be able to you know basically finish up the rest of the brokers that we have mm -hmm. in place. And these brokers are going to allow us to kind of provision new infrastructure components. I was just talking to another person that's working on a project and they chose to go the uh, arm templates route the problem with arm templates that i have and this is a thing that i tell a lot of people is that you know it doesn't auto complete you don't know what you mm -hmm. what you need to put in there right and i right. think your suggestion i think your suggestion of making it fluent makes it even even better mm -hmm. here's sean again 
Lost Sean again. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Anyway. All right. Bilal, do you want to share your screen and get the yes, ball rolling? Yes, yeah, so I have just forked the project. Uh, just changing the email. Okay. And then I will share the screen as well. Okay. Sean, what happened to it this all out? It's not working. It is acting weird today. <laughs> doesn't want me to be on the, on the video probably you're not allowed you know <laughs> you, you can't use whatsapp you can't make calls on whatsapp or no. stream yard <laughs> <laughs> you have to pay extra to eat the salad to make this work <laughs> looks like looks like yeah Sean is like, I don't want to miss. I don't want to talk about it this a lot, man. I know who owns this company. I don't want to miss with them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Sean, just to get you up to speed, mm -hmm. I sent you an invitation to be a collaborator mm -hmm. on the Vazar repository. And, and all that we're trying to do now is just to basically build the infrastructure components. So, because you guys just came in, you know, Yasser and I are just going to sit back like this and you're going to do all the work. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Great that deal, right? Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. Yelling, just, just... <laughs> this is how you know the senior engineers on the team. They do nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> all right. Okay. So, so Sean, oh. if I were you, I would try to pull down that repository. Sean, I'm assuming you have .NET 7 and I don't know what happened to my camera. Ah. Let's see. Uh, so, Sean, I assume you have .NET 7 installed and Visual Studio 2022 preview? Yes. Uh, actually, um, while I was waiting, I tried running the project. I, nice. I chose to nice. copy the link and open in uh, Visual Studio 2022. And I came to know there's no .NET 7 preview installed. So I installed .NET preview, .NET 7 preview, and it still didn't run. Still didn't run. You need, need... you need the Visual Studio preview. Yes. And I have I had a lot of time. I installed preview and I got it running. I uh, I ran the project. I could see. Okay. The, uh, oh, that's why your internet was it. garbage because you were downloading things. Not now, not now. Before not this, now, before later. Okay. Up. So it's just it. It's a lot being garbage. Okay, got it. Yes, got it. Yes, yes. <laughs> so okay, Sean, I want you to do the same thing like Bilal is doing. I want you to clone the the main repository. Don't fork a repository. Clone the main repository. You know, okay. and just pull that down so you can contribute to the same branch as that project. Let's see if we can get this. Uh, let's see if I we can get this. Uh -huh. I have the main branch as local and all the other branches as remote. From a fork or from or from the main uh, repository? From the main repository. I mean, I, I copied the link yeah. and uh, hit perfect. on repository. So didn't fork. Okay, perfect. Now, just accept the invitation that I just sent you to your email. I did that. Just okay. Now, yeah. Perfect. Okay. Now, let's start with Bilal. Bilal, do you think you can get going? Yeah, yeah, I can. But uh, I'm trying to share my screen, but it is yeah, like there, there is no share button. It's not allowing. It is allowing me to select the window or the entire screen, but there is no share button on my side. Why? Maybe it's like by. Are you on Chrome? Yeah, I am on Chrome, yeah. That's weird. I love how Bilal is so, like, calm and polite. I wish I was that kind of guy. Just, it's just, yes. just, I can't. This is, this is Bilal. Yes, absolutely, I am working on it, and I'm just making sure that I have the share button. Oh, my God. You're an angel. I wish I could be like that. I don't know what happened to me. I used to be nice. <laughs> and then I started writing software, and I lost my mind. You know, anyway, so it's not showing the share button for you? Yeah, it's not, yeah. That's weird. There's a button right in the middle that says share. Yeah, it's it, it like the button is there for the share, but when I click on share screen and then select my window, Visual Studio's window, then there is a, like no share button. Maybe, and, maybe yeah. you're so, sometime. In. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ahead. sometime it it happens. I mean, last time I did the same thing, and mm -hmm. I you know shared the screen and and I, and I, w I went into that tab which says window. Yeah, and I was not able to share. I was I mean uh, the the Visual Studio was not visible there, so I shared the entire screen at that moment. Just share the whole screen, brother. Yeah, okay. you can clear up clear up certain things and share your. Just make yeah. sure you hide all the the mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. 
What, what do you have in the there? Disney. Magazines? <laughs> yeah. Science magazines. Don't get me wrong. Sci what are you guys thinking? I just said science magazine. Oh my God. This crowd. This is a tough crowd. <laughs> uh, for the entire screen, uh, for the entire screen as well, it like it, it does show the two screens, screen one, screen two, but uh, there is no button for the share. You, you, okay. you have two monitors. Do you have two yeah, monitors have, apart from? Yeah, have two this, guy, this guy's yeah, rich. He has two monitors. This guy has, has money. This guy got all got, got all the mola over there. <laughs> Okay, now how about restarting? Just restart, just rejoin, like like close every window you have and join back. Let's uh, let's try with Sean this time. Sean, do you want to share your screen? Yes. Let's go. Uh, it's 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 the same with me. I can't uh, I can't see Visual Studio Preview in the share window screen, but I do see my screen. And when I select the screen that I want to share, the share button is enabled. You want to try that, Bilal? Yeah, I have, I have I have done that as well, but like you know, when I click on the screen one or whatever the screen I am sharing, it like there is no share button on my side. That is uh, weird. no problem. I, no problem. I, I can Let share my share my screen. Yeah, yeah. Let's go, Sean. Nice try, Sean. You wanna you wanna pin, you wanna pin it on the the poor guy. There you are. There you are. So here's I need you to do me a favor though. I want you to zoom in really far because people watch this stuff on their phones. Let you me know. go to settings. Yeah, let's go 150, brother. He's just he's just showing off that he has Windows 11. That's what it is. And he even fixed the menu. He put it on the left side. Be like, I don't care for putting the menu in the middle. Ready All right. Now? Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. Now, do you see that main uh, that main branch at the bottom? Find the one that. Um, so click on remotes, mm -hmm. and get the one that. Um, Yasser and I have been working on, which is draft mode. Type in infra provision. Yeah, infra provision. Where is it? There it is. Initialize provision project. Click on that guy. All right. Let's get cooking, people. Ah, let's put some code in the white fire grid. People call the internet. Okay, so let's go to uh, the provision project. If you look in the provision project, let's say so you guys understand. We're writing C sharp code to provision, like create resources in Azure. That's really what we're doing, right? So, so Sean, if you look at the uh, first of all, let's rebuild the whole solution because I'm seeing some errors in the dependencies. I just want to make sure you're in like the whole solution. Right click, rebuild. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sir. Is 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 the is the picture a little fuzzy on your side too, or is it mm -hmm. just me? Mm -hmm. Is yeah, it the it resolution or what? Why is why is his resolution funny looking? Funny like that. It's it's visible. It's just a little. Yeah, low resolution. It it seems to be you know. Uh, yeah, look at this brother. He's got errors, and I think the error that he has. Yeah, that console error is okay. Double click on that guy, and just remove this whole thing. Just remove it. Just remove the whole file. Nope, nope, no commenting. Just just remove. No, just no. Just delete that line. That's it. Save and rebuild. <clears throat> okay. Bilal, are you with us? Yeah, I'm, I am here. So what I will do is that like uh, drop from the call and then yeah. join back in. So yeah. I, uh, basically I have set like, I think so I have set the scaling to 200. Yeah. And uh, the, the Chrome is not like scaling up the pop-up that, uh, that no is worries. being shown to me. And so, so I will join back in. Let's do it, brother. I'll be here. I'm here for you, Bilal. I'll wait for you. Uh, I will wait for eternity. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, that, double click on that. Okay. Just type. Okay. That's my mistake. Double click on that and th just go to the program CS and just type console right line hello world, but make sure you pull the dependency. So go back to that program CS file that you just modified. It's right there. The, the one in, the one in red. Do you see the red, red color? Uh, has a red check mark, yep. And then just do control Z. Control Z. It doesn't work. Oh, it's not letting you because you closed the file. So just type in mm -hmm. console.write line hello world just for now. Yep, 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 yep. Right line uppercase W. Right line. And then uh, just open close parentheses, double, yep, hello world, semicolon, and then control period to pull the dependency. Period. 
Ah, oh, you 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 mouse user. Use mouse. It's, 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 you're an engineer. It's a big shame. <laughs> <laughs> no, the control period didn't work, and I had. To oh, it didn't. Maybe something is intercepting that. It's okay. Let's let's re let's rebuild the whole solution now. I want to make sure that you have a building branch before we do anything. Yeah. Perfect. Let's rebuild. Solution. Right click. Rebuild. Let's go to town. Okay, Asser. We I I'd say you know our onboarding took twenty minutes. That's not too bad. Mm -hmm. You know. This is shout out for the people that take three weeks to onboard someone, you know, <laughs> our onboarding process is much faster than that. All yeah. right, Sean. So let's double click on the provision. Do you see the brokers area? <clears throat> yeah. Open up that guy. <clears throat> so we basically want to provision a bunch of components in the cloud, right? So you have cloud broker, cloud broker resource group, iCloud broker and iCloud broker resource groups. The next thing that we want to really provision is something called a plan. And this plan explains the cost that is coming in with a particular. I'm going to repeat what I was saying to you last time because now you're here. So I should explain mm -hmm. that to you as well. So here's the deal, brother. You know, what What do we really want to provision in the cloud? Oops, not this one. This, is, this was for Mahdi. Let's do this one. So here's the deal. When you're trying to provision something like the system that we're provisioning, we need something big like here called a resource group, and that's the one that um, that's the one that that Yasser took care of last time. Is that why you built Yasser the resource group provision? There was a couple yeah. of functions there. One for delete. Actually, we were still on the resource group, right? Can you go? Mm -hmm. Actually, let me go back to Sean real quick. Sean, can you show Visual Studio real quick on your side? Mm -hmm. So can you go into iResource Groups real quick? Yeah, iCloudBroker.ResourceGroups. All, all our work will be in the provision project. So yeah, double click on that file. Not this one, the one under it. OK, so we have, oh, so, so yeah, sir, we did do all of them. Create resource group, check resource group exists. OK, perfect. So I'm going right. to take the screen back. I'm going to go back here. And then let me share my side of the world. So, so here's what we're building, just to just for for you and Bilal, for Shan and Bilal, just to understand what what we're doing. We need a resource group, which is already established. We also need an app service, right? And we need a database. And this database needs to live inside of a database server. So we need a database server, and we need a database. Let me bring that guy at the top. So a database and a database server, these two things. And of course, the database server, uh, the the app service needs to know how to talk to the database. This is all part of our work that we're doing. But in order to have all of these resources, we need to have something called a plan, a resource plan or app service plan. And that plan will just sit down here and it will explain to us the cost and all the things that we need to know about to provision this resource. This helps people who are managing cloud and infrastructure doing DevOps operation and SREs to know what, you know, what is going on and how much our resources are costing us, right? So by far, you know, the things that we developed is this guy. We need to we need to deliver the rest of those. Let's start with the plan. So I'm going to put the plan here in orange. Orange meaning in progress, green means it's done. And and uh, and the black or the no color basically means you know we haven't started yet didn't start yet okay so let's go back to Sean here Sean you're gonna do the plan are you excited you're gonna do the plan very much very okay. much okay yikes let's do it <laughs> so let's go to um so so we need a broker and that's and that cloud broker will basically provision an app service plan right how do we do that do cloud broker dot plans build an interface that does iCloud broker dot plans mm -hmm. dot plans mm -hmm. dot cs okay perfect and this guy will have only one method what is that method just create a plan so just create plan async of course this interface will be partial Sean, because of the, uh, because because we have other other resources that we're creating, mm -hmm. this guy returns a value task of an I, I app service plan. 
Oh, before before we finish that one, while Sean is writing this, someone left a comment in our in my YouTube video that the other day said, you know, why are you using value task versus task, right? Yeah. So yeah. So, so just so you guys understand, before before you finish this, Sean, I want to show this. I actually went out there. I got curious. I was like, okay, it doesn't help to go back and kind of, you know, explore and see what happened. So I went in here and I basically wrote a a simple app. I used an existing app. It's called Many to Many. I was just showing people Many to Many relationship, right? And I started mm -hmm. running this. Um, uh, I started running this system multiple times, right? Every time, value task one. Every single time, except for one time, right? Just for people to understand, what value task does is that it says, if the value is already present, give it to me. If it's not, then go ahead and execute the task. It's much advanced version mm -hmm. of task, right? Like what I'm really doing here in code is that this is, and you guys are going to see us doing this a lot. You know, I'm just going and comparing these two methods. What happens when I do find async with a task versus find async with a value task, right? Uh, the the brother's argument was, well, find async returns task both ways. I mean, that just supports my case that value task can even make it a lot more faster, even if your original underlying method is still returning a task, right? That's why I use value task. You know, it executes much faster than task. Okay, sorry about that. Let's go back to Sean. Go ahead. So I app service plan. So it, it supposedly is going to create something called app service plan. And this app service plan is basically what's going to have the uh, little detail. Yeah. Let's do control period, pull the dependencies. Let's make it rain. Okay. Because it's asynchronous, Sean, it has to have async at the end of its method name. So create plan async. Okay. Now, what are the parameters? We're supposed to tell that plan where to live. So we need to tell it which resource group it needs to live in, right? If you go back to the I resource groups, I cloud broker dot resource groups, if you go back to that one. What does this guy return when we create a resource group? It returns an I resource group, right? Mm -hmm. So we want our I cloud broker plans to take in an input parameter that is i resource group because that's how we're telling it to put the plan inside that resource group basically mm -hmm. okay what's more important than the resource group we need to give a name for our plan it needs to have a name so let's have our let's have our very first input parameter to be the plan name Yep. Let's call it plan name just so it's very very clear what we're what we're doing. Okay, how long is this line, Sean? Is it more than 120 lines? It's 97. Do you see 97. it? 97. 97. So we should be good. Do do control K E, it will take away these usings that you don't need. Perfect. Now, a couple of configurations. I'm going to have to change your Visual Studio in a couple of configurations. Go to Tools, click Options, and just type in there System. Yep. And then click on, on General. Sorry, uh, C Sharp Advanced. And then, uh, let's see. Uh, yep, Place System Directives first when sorting usings. Bilal, I hope you're doing the same thing. So there's yeah. one. one. Don't okay that yet. There's one more thing. Type active in the search. This active... What happened? Where did the window go? <laughs> <coughs> Something has got activated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try this again. Type active... And then general, yeah, there it is. Track active item in Solution Explorer. Okay, so now uh, let's just make sure that the, also the system is back because you killed the window. I don't know if it saved it. So let's do the same thing, Sean. What what, what was the other one? Uh, just type. Uh, oh, just type system. 
Uh huh. And then click. Uh huh. And then play systems. Click OK. That's it. Just click OK. You're done. Now do me a favor and do Control K E again. It's doing, it's doing nothing. Control K E. No. What about if you click on the broom? Do you see that little broom at the bottom? Yeah, that guy. Clickety. Nothing? Weird. It's supposed to put the, the system... Uh, now, now, let me try this this way. Go on the top of your solution. Right click. Right click. And then go to... Um, uh, go to uh, cleanup, which is the... Uh, analyze and cleanup. You see that? Analyze code and cleanup. And then click run code cleanup profile 1. Yeah, that should take care of this. Let's see. Oh, what happened? We don't need that. Cancel that guy. Yeah, there you go. Still nothing. Weird. Is it because it's not saved? Do Control S. Then save. Hold on. And then do Control K A. Weird. Why it's not doing that with you? That's odd. And you have one error now. Double click. Oh, because it doesn't implement yet. That's okay. Okay, don't worry about that. Let, I'll take care of that. Let's go to the implementation part, Sean. Before you lose the internet. Before it just a lot, you know, tells you you exceeded your quota. Start, start, start charging you a couple of couple of hundred dirhams. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let's let's create a concrete class. See, we lost Sean. It just a lot now is saying you get to either see the code or the person, but both of them at the same time, that's a different price. <laughs> All right. Cloud, cloud broker. Sean is still with us, but we don't see him. He's spiritually with us. Oh, no, there he is. There he is. <laughs> okay. Not CS. Not CS. And then let's, let's implement this. I'm, Plans, yes, CS, sir. Right? Yes, sir. That's the one. Okay. Let's partialize this guy, and then let's uh, let's implement that exact same signature function that you did. So public async value task. Nice. I app service plan. Nice. And then let's pull all these good guys in. So now your line is a little bit longer than 120, I bet. So, no, no, no. Don't do that, Sean. Just just take it down by one. So what, just one tap. Here you go. Just one tap. Yep, that's it. And take the other one down as well. So if you're going to take one down, take both of them down. Yep. Perfect. Beautiful. Now, we need to implement this guy. Let's try it together. So we have this thing called this.azure. So just type this return this.azure. And then inside that guy, we basically want to go and say, I want to create a plan, right? So let's go and say this.azure.appservices.appservice plan. App service plans. There it is. And then go to the next line and let's define that guy. No, no, no. It's just a property. Go to the next line. You, you don't need the parentheses. It's not a method. It's just a property. So next line dot define and define is where you're going to throw the plan name let's throw the plan name in there and then we want to define what region we want to be in for now you can put it into central india so let's no no just take another line and do dot for every single iteration we're going to do we're going to do dot okay and then so with region and then just type in there region dot cent central india for now so uppercase control period uh get the mm. there you go and then dot central i think it's uh, india central that's right okay and then the pricing tier you know let's go to the next one and put the pricing here and just put it to standard uh standard s1 so you can go and say with let's first say with existing resource group and that would be the resource group and then again dot with with pricing tier no just put it with the with actual pricing tier because we're going to need to actually roll this up so with pricing tier and then just type in there pricing tier dot standard os standard s1 
So the beauty about this that ARM templates won't give you is that it's autocomplete. It's telling you the next thing. It's fluent, right? So, okay, pricing tier dot standard S1. Let's do that, Sean. Oh, God, I think we lost him. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh. Ah, I wanted him to do the commit before it out. <coughs> kicks him off. Feel like we use too much data now. What are we gonna do? Let's talk to let's talk to Bilal real quick. Bilal, you're able to share your screen yet or no? Yeah, I am. So should I share my screen? Yeah, just to see, you know, if you mm -hmm. if you can share your screen. By the way, you sharing your screen, I have to still display it. Yeah, we can see your screen now. Perfect, perfect. I can share it and hide it. That's perfect. Okay, uh, here's Sean. Let's go back to Sean. Hang tight. Bilal, let's let's go back to Sean. If if Sean can show up. Ah. Yep. Here, uh, Sean. I'm just gonna end up writing the whole thing myself, yeah. So what do you think about that? <laughs> just 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 add a spite, and send and send a message to a lot and tell them you guys are are, are, are joking. Sean! <laughs> I'm really sorry, guys. No worries, let's just finish. It's not your fault, it's not your fault. Let's just finish what we started. Share your screen. Let me share, your, share my screen. Okay. okay, here we go. All right, so what else? The next one, so pricing T standard S1, and then with operating system, we're gonna use Windows. So, so keep going to the next line as you go. And then that will be OS and then dot Windows. OS. Yep. That control period. No, no, no. Just go, just go back. I think it's just OS. Or it might actually block you and you're going to need to rename it something else. That's fine. Yeah. And then control period. Just pull that guy. Uh -huh. no. So, so here's the problem here. Yeah. You want to use that fluent and I'll tell you, I'll tell you how to fix it. Don't worry about it. Just type in dot Windows for now. <laughs> It's not letting you because operating system is shared. And then the last one you want to do is just create async at the very end. Just one more line and you're going to say create async. Yeah. Okay, we need to await this call. So before you say this dot Azure, you just want to say await. Perfect. Now give me a commit, brother. That's it. Let's go to the commit section. Click on that pencil. Do you see the pencil with the 10 things yeah and just type in there uh, brokers colon implement and we lost Sean mm. okay last time I had a discussion with him and it was you know uh, well it, without well, it, a break it for depends, 45 minutes it yeah. depends on how many people are streaming Netflix on his network at this point in time <laughs> We get, we're yeah. gonna need we're gonna we're gonna need to have him like take his laptop into the night right and he just sits right next to a library or something you know what is this new thing that they opened in dubai that uh you know the 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 the, the museum of the future have you guys heard of it the future yeah. museum yeah, yeah so so what what sean would would need to do you know hey, sean here's an advice for you for the internet what you're going to need to do, brother, is that you're going to need to go over here to this place. Okay, let me just help you out with the internet situation. Okay, here. There's Future Museum <laughs> Dubai. Okay, you're going to go sit right next to it. You don't don't enter. They're going to take all your money there. So just go sit next to it out on the street <laughs> and get a free Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Share your screen. Let's get going. Oh my God, this is crazy. Let's go. Okay, here you are. Okay, let's make let's make that darn commit before we lose you again. And then just <laughs> give us the commit, and then just you're done. <laughs> just just <laughs> go. <laughs> All right. Just say implement a, a, a service plan broker. All right, give me that that nice push. Drop that that drop down that button that is next commit all. And uh, do no, I name no. it something? No. No, no, no. You're fine. Just drop down that button, commit all, and push. Oh my God, we made it. That was that was. Some... To push. That's it. 
Oh, failed to put. Why? What happened? Let's see. You don't have permissions. Let me tell you why you, you failed to push. Do you see these three dots that are next to the refresh button all the way to the right side? All the way to the right side. Three buttons. Keep going right, right, right. Yeah, click on that guy. And then go into manage remotes. Manage remotes. And then go to general. Yeah, make sure that information matches the one that you have in GitHub, my friend. I don't think that does. That's your work oh, okay. stuff. Now everyone knows your work email. Great. I'm not changing it. <laughs> so, so, so make sure the email is exactly the same as the one that you actually use. Yeah, he put his phone number there, you know. Or his year of birth, the year 3,500, whatever. All right, let's push it, man. Let's go. Yep, that guy. Here we go. Again, see the output window for details. What is happening? Uh, I, I think, I think. Uh... No, 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 wait. It has nothing to do with the code. Okay. It's something to do with you being able to contribute to this repository. Okay. See there, uh, can you go to, uh, to that drop down box, left top? Uh, see, in the in the error section, in the error section, at the bottom output window, you have error list. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there there in that window, you have onto the left top corner entire screen as entire solution as a drop down. Yeah, mm -hmm. just above. Yes, you can select from your GitHub. Uh, no, not this one. Yes, or the one on the build. right side. Do you see the one that says Build Plus Intelligence? Yeah, they, he should have git, git errors in there somewhere. So basically, the git errors are in output window. So go to output window and then select the output window. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Go to output right. window. Output. Yeah, right. Yep. Yes, good call. There it is. Good call, Bilal. And then source control git. Uh, yep, there it is. So what is it saying? Uh, access denied. Your permission, permission. to vazar.core, Sean128. Yeah, it still thinks that you are Sean128, whatever. So try to push mm -hmm. again. You, you might need to restart your uh, Visual Studio for it to pick mm -hmm. the new. Did you did you make sure you saved these changes that you yes, made? Yes, yes. Okay, let's try this again. Sean is pained. <laughs> <laughs> let's go, Sean. I'm just with missing with you, brother. I just want I like to miss with people I like. That's what it is. That's that's the real deal. If only Paul Wardy knows that, he wouldn't get so offended. <laughs> <laughs> he gets so worked up oh my god just pure comedy three times a week <laughs> mm. did it push this time here we go no you, you, your configuration is still not right go back to these three dots I don't know if it actually saved what you did there mm. and we lost him again my God. There he is. No, he's back. He's back. Okay, so you have your settings. What about Git? Well, I don't want to do Git global settings. What about remotes? If you click on remotes, Sean, what, what it shows. So you are on the right branch. That's your fetch. That's all these details. Yeah, I don't know, man. That's weird. You know, you should be logged in. Um... Yeah, I'm not quite. How sure. about going to uh, mm. the packet? You know, uh, the uh, the console and type to the command. Yeah, we could do that. That's a great idea. That's mm -hmm. that's. Oh wait, Sean, what 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 did you just show up? What did you just show up right now? That thing that you just popped up right now. It said it still said the your old username in there. Yeah, we completely lost this brother. Okay, I'll, I'll let him fix that on his own time. Bilal, let's go to you. We want to implement the other one, man. So so the other piece that we really want to implement is, you know, not... We did the plan. The next thing we want to do is the actual databases. Okay. Right? So remember how, you know, we said we want a resource group. We want a database. We want all of that. Let's Let's do this, right? So... Here's what we're going to do, you know, um, 
let's create let's create an iCloud broker. Make sure you double click on that guy and just add something in there. Uh, uh, go to go to program CS and revert whatever was in there. You see program CS in the red. So yep, right click. Yeah, right click on program CS and just do a revert. Yep, yep. And then and then control period on console and pull the uh, the dependency there. Yep. Okay, that's done. Make sure the whole solution builds first. <coughs> just so we are on the same page. Yep, it's building now. Yeah. Okay, let's go there. Sean, try to fix your authentication problem. Let me know if you figure it out. Your internet is garbage. <laughs> I'll tell you that. All right. Okay. So once that's done, let's just build the other side, which is the database, right? Okay. We want to build a database in this system. So let's see if we can do that. So we, we want an iCloud bro so uh, iCloud broker dot storages. And that's the one where we're gonna create a database server and a SQL database. Okay. Okay, so great. Let's do value task i SQL server, create SQL server async. So, so you want to do the storages first, and then we'll do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, stream we are doesn't show the pop up. Yeah, sir. That's mm. why it's not. But he's he's doing it. Yeah. I don't broken dot storages. Mm -hmm. Sean is freezed. I think again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you have uh, you want to make this an interface, partial public partial interface. All right, and what's part tail? You mean partial? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I just just press the control dot and it changes. Okay. Zoom in a little bit. Put the control and roll your mouse a little bit. You do, yeah. There you go. You can also do Control Shift Dot. Try this one. Control Shift Dot. See, that's no yeah. mouse at all. Okay, that's. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. This is perfect. This is perfect and clear and nice, and I can see the actual code. Sean. <laughs> okay, take away the word class, and uh, we should be good there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Value task. Right. And what are we expecting to return here? We're expecting to return something called iSQL server. And there is, you know, in reality, you know, an iSQL server is, is just a simple model that carries some additional information. You know that we're gonna talk about, but just keep going. I SQL Server, keep going. Create SQL Server async. So what does a SQL Server do? It's exactly the same thing as we did with the plan, like Sean did. So Sean created a plan name, and it passed oh, to it. So so SQL Server name, and the second thing would be the resource group. Let's do that. I SQL Server. That's our I resource groups. Yep. There we go. You got to give that guy a name and then let's get going. John, did you fix the authorization problem? You're on, you're on mute, brother. Okay. I'm trying to sign out uh, Git from my Visual Studios. Oh, I see. Yeah, that will fix it. Yeah. Don't, don't forget <laughs> the input parameter. Yeah, there you go. Okay, Sean, I'll let you fix this and if you make it, if you're able to push it, let me know. Okay, great. Uh, Bilal, let's go ahead and create the implementation of that. Okay. So, ideally, ideally, yes, sir, Bilal and Sean's work won't conflict with each other because they're building in completely different files. Right. So, okay, Bilal, let's go. Let's create a cloud broker dot storages. Cloud broker dot storages? In this yeah. One. Yeah, something like this, but we need a new file. It's called cloud cloudbroker.storages. Okay. 
that will be the concrete class of the interface that we just created. There could be a conflict for program.cs, do you think? Mm, maybe, possibly. Unless they are identical, then that's a different story. Okay, now let's get the concrete implementation of that. Now that Sean is not writing code, it's perfect. High quality HD 4K resolution. Mm -mm. No problem. Look at this smile. That smile means the world to me. <laughs> oh my God, Sean. 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 So maybe Sean, Sean is having like internet issues like for today only. Maybe next time he, he has a good internet connection. Yeah, I mean, as long as he's on a tis a lot, I don't, I don't, don't hold your breath. But we'll see. <laughs> hey, hey, Shad, are you actually on a tis a lot? Are you actually on a actually on a tis a lot? Yeah. Did they force you to use the router and you can't get your own? You have to use the one that's approved by it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, we'll get through this. We'll make it. Hmm. <laughs> No, Bilal, I don't, even, I don't have to tell Bilal anything. This guy is scary. He knows stuff. Look at this guy. So basically, I have worked on the o triple so I, I do, do, do know a little bit of things. So I, I yeah. have been working here. I wonder... I, I'm actually kind of looking at your Git file profile. I want to see how far you went. You're, uh, you did... Uh, oh my I'm god. You did data, you did brokers, you did code drops, you did foundation services. Oh my god, you actually went all over the place there. Nice, nice. Not bad at all, actually. Okay. Okay, so doing this one, I'll let you kind of guess and see if you can figure it out, you know. So we do need the Azure guy. We need, you need to use the Azure service, that's for sure. Okay. It should be just as straightforward as doing the plans, ideally. So SQLs, yeah, Azure dot uh, define, and then let's put, take it to the next line, Bilal. So Azure and then dot new line dot define, and let's put the SQL server name there. Okay, so like this is, this one is for like SQL servers, so maybe as you dot SQL servers. Yes, that's right. And then dot define. Yeah, you're right. You're right, Brian. And then let's throw the SQL server name there. This brother's doing this stuff. And then the next one would be uh, the region. Region, yeah. And that would be region dot central India. Indian Central, yeah. In India Central. So make sure it completes it for you. Like pull in that dependency because I think it's India Central. I don't think it's Indian Central. But let's just pull the region first. Yeah, I think it's India Central. Yeah, it's Central, Central, yeah. Yep, and then we want to do with existing resource yeah, groups. We already got that one. See, see, it's doing it for you. Right. It's scary. And then, uh, you know, with... <laughs> So there is a thing here called with admin login. And that will be this dot admin name. And then with admin password, and that will be admin dot access. Yeah, sir, do you remember where this admin coming from? Remember configurations? Mm -hmm. That's where this is coming from. And we're going to switch it to principal because even that is not exactly 100% secure, but you're still starting a new app, right? So evolve your security and investment in security based on how much you want to involve, evolve your uh, security situation. Okay, so this admin access, that's it. I think you got it. So my calling, uh, go at the top and do control period and pull the copyrights on this. 
So go right next. Yeah, this guy knows stuff. You know, this guy knows the he knows the deal. Yeah, just hit enter. Yep, take that extra line. Do the same thing with the interface, please. With that. So, uh, yeah, I that is. Okay. Yep, that's it. Do a do a commit, my friend, and that's that. Okay. So, uh, what should I name is like uh... brokers? All uppercase brokers, and then just implement SQL Server. Nice. Yep. S capital. Commit all and push. Nice. Thank you, sir. That wasn't so bad. Mm -hmm. All right, Sean, you still with us? Still struggling with Git? <laughs> I, I I saw the Git problem. Uh -huh. You but, solved the uh, Git problem. Okay, share your yeah. screen. Let's do it. Um, go ahead. Mm -hmm. But the changes that I had done on a local branch. Gone. Not... Oh, my God. Okay, let me do it real quick then. Can I do it real quick? Is that okay, Aster? Can I, I share still... my screen? Do you want to do it again real quick? Yeah. Do you remember what you did? Yeah, let's do it. Go ahead, man. You got it. Let's do it. You guys see my screen? Yes, we yeah. can. You know, I think what the real problem is, it's mm -hmm. not it's not the internet connection. It's that bright screen mode that he has going on. That's the real problem right there. I feel like the sun, just the sun, <laughs> just wah, giving me a tan here, just sitting here. <laughs> All right, let's go, man. You're gonna, I, you're gonna, I created uh, the interface. Nice. Let's do the implementation. Take that extra empty line away. Line 16. Yeah. Let's go, Sean. Okay. And I created this class. It's it's also not iResource. It's iResource group. That's different. Uh, okay. Let me go here. Control period should pull the stuff and let's call this resource. Yeah, perfect. Now let's fix the other one as well. See, it is a lot is calling him, telling him, hey, you're taking too much data. <laughs> <laughs> it's a warning bell. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Hello, you have exceeded your data cap. You will be charged 1,000 dirhams. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Let's do this. Uh, I resource group. Let's do it. This dot Azure. Uh, your, your screen froze. They took away your data access. We don't see anything at this moment. They're probably listening to us. <laughs> making fun of them. <laughs> All right. <laughs> maybe maybe they are watching our stream as well. Sean, I'm giving you exactly two minutes before I hang up on you and your <laughs> crappy internet. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Let's Azure do this. Dot service plans. Remember app service plans? App services? App services? Dot plans? There it is. Let's go. New line defined. Let's go. Uh huh. And what are we defining? We're putting the plan name there, right? Help, 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 uh, help him out, Bilal. Help him oh, out. This guy's gonna give me a heart attack. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> with, with with region. Region mm. mm -hmm. dot. India Central. Then dot with re existing resource group. Yeah. No. Oh, with new resource group. With existing. Yeah, with bro. existing resource. No, why you created the resource hmm. and then with pricing tier, standard. Then, uh, pricing tier dot standard one, standard S1, and then with operating system, Windows. Windows. 
yeah pull pull the pull the record it's not gonna let you kind of get the short version of it and i'll explain why but uh yeah just keep going mm. and then i think create right Bilal? there's nothing else in yeah, there. Create async, yeah. okay <clears throat> don't forget the await <clears throat> make sure that your solution builds you need async in your method <clears throat> There you go, and make sure everything builds and the top header as well. Don't forget the copyrights. <clears throat> Sean is like, I'm never coming to this group again. I'm done. You better show up next time. Otherwise, I won't do the the API security stuff you've been asking me about for five months. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Don't worry, I'll, I'll take care of a couple of those, but just implement service plan, yeah. And he may or may not get a conflict. We'll see now, yeah, sir, if this is actually mm -hmm. a thing. <clears throat> Here we go. Moment of truth. And okay. it this a lot cuts off the line. <laughs> yeah, pull and push. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the merge. Keep going. So it's it's pulling in Bilal's changes and pushing in yours and intelligently. Yeah, there you go. Yay, look at that. Now let me just fix this problem real quick. Sean, you made it. First be... comment from Dubai. First first, first 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 commit, you know, and maybe last. We'll see what Etisalat does with you. We'll see. <laughs> Tonight. A couple of people wearing green, they will knock on his door and be like, <laughs> we've been making fun of us. <laughs> We're offering you 1,000 dirhams a month at a discount price. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let, let me fix some of that stuff. So, so this is all great. You know, what I'm just going to go do is that with the plans, you see how in the plan here it's not letting you because if you go and say oh i just want operating system it's conflicting with uh some of the you know if i go and do this let's see simplify i think that's okay for now but later is not going to be okay so i'm just going to take this out and then let's see what else let me run a quick cleanup in here just to make sure things are in good shape so this is great. Clean, clean, clean. We have copyrights here missing. Let's add them in here. What else? Have you guys noticed anything new? So storages, this is good. Resource group is good. Uh, all of this is good. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and just say code rub, code cleanup. So what is what else is left, guys? You know, let's just go back to the map here and just let me show you where we're at, you know, in terms of progress. So today was very productive, despite it is a lot not agreeing with us. We got this guy done. This guy here is done. So that's great. And we got this guy is done. Right. And we're almost halfway. Oh, you already did the. No, you just did the SQL server. So we need that guy. We also going to need to add something called configuration. So the next one in progress that we're going to be targeting is this guy and this guy. That's what we're going to do next time. Right. And, and that's it. You're provisioning an API, you know, in C sharp. You don't have to learn ARM templates. You don't have to, to learn about YAML. You don't have to learn about any of that stuff. What do you guys think? Do you have any questions? What do you think about that? It's pretty cool, right? It's a cool yeah, deal, exactly. right? Amazing. Okay. Um, th that's, that's pretty much it for today. You know, we're going to be building foundation services and processing services to actually read from a configuration broker so it knows which environments to provision and deprovision. And then we're going to attach that something called a release pipeline that actually takes in the bits and throws them into uh, into Azure. The release work is something that uh, Shri and I are still working on in A.NET library. So it should come out really, really soon, you know, if we ever find the time. But, you know, we're making good progress there. But other than that, you know, thank you all for coming in today. This was fun. We powered through it, you know, had a little bit of fun, a little laugh, you know, made a little bit of fun at Sean and his, you know, at this a lot Internet. And uh, we, we got through it. We got through it. I'm I'm very happy to see both of you today, Sean and Bilal. This was fun, you know. Thank you. I hope I hope you join us again next time, you know. Sure, and, sure, and, sure. Yeah, sure. Because, because it's gonna get a little serious, you know, with 
this driven development, you know, uh, you know, back and forth, you're going to be able to kind of support foundation services. This project is perfect because while it's an amazing project in and of itself, the concepts and the patterns that we're trying to, to use in this project are very, very advanced. And we want to use that. Right. Of course, Sean exceeded his data cap there. So that's OK. Sean, we love you, whatever you are at this point in time. <laughs> come back again soon <laughs> yes sir do you have anything else to say so you have a team now what do you think yeah. about that you have a team right you know i i usually say two engineers is a lot but imagine we have four engineers you know if you guys will take me in as an engineer i know a little bit of engineering just a little bit what do you think right okay. and, and for and for the people watching us of course if you have any questions comments concerns if you made it that far you know if you have any questions comments or concerns feel free please feel free to drop a comment in the comment section you know we're very excited about this project and our team is growing exponentially you know there's a lot of people that keep telling me we want to join yasser on his journey that's a good thing yasser you should be proud of this people like you yeah. they want to build stuff with you and uh as usual you know you guys are gonna say don't forget to like and subscribe in your languages right let's start with sean yeah, before he loses exactly. his, his data cap sean how do you <laughs> sean are you there oh, I'm, here. <laughs> I'm back again can you say don't forget to like and subscribe or is it this a lot charging you per per, per word <laughs> <laughs> They'll be like, oh, if you're going to switch the language, we're going to charge you extra. <laughs> <laughs> how, do, how do you say, Sean, how do you say don't forget to like and subscribe in, in well, not, 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 the, that, not, not Yasser's language, in your language. What's that be? Kokni, uh, yeah. In, in Konkani? Yeah. Like Korong Visranaka. Nice. I love it. It's perfect. What about you? Thank you so much. I, I don't know how to say that, but it, but it sounds simple. You know what I mean? And that's it. See, they took the data cap from him. You know, you know what? <laughs> You know, Sean's Sean's community now are gonna go after him, be like because they'd be like, "There's three, you know, three guys with beards, and you're doing this." <laughs> 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 I I do remember. That. I do remember in the previous podcast, uh, Hassan, you said like nation of Islam. So yeah, it's like the nation of Islam. That. It looks like the brother brother joined us right here. It's like <laughs> I got you guys. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Let's go with Bilal. Bilal. <laughs> so, Bilal. <laughs> Your guy's language. whole community is gonna abandon him now. Be like, we know what you're up to over there in Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Bilal. Go ahead. So in, in my language, it's like very simple. You, you, you may be able to understand it. So like or subscribe, karna nice. mat yeah. Nice. So you just use English words and you just add in whatever you know. No, basically. Words. You, we write a subscribe in Urdu as well, and it's like subscribe. Nice. Uh, nice. So as uh, my knowledge, it's like subscribe in English, same as in Urdu. So it's same. Yeah, yes, sir has tears in his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And Sean, whatever you are, <laughs> we're here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Take care. Take care. Yeah. Okay, goodbye.